Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this very quick and easy 30 minute or less glam look. So if you'd like to learn, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so the first thing I like to go in with, and I don't do this all the time, but I've been doing this lately just because everyone loves primers. So I'm gonna go in the Pores No More Dr. Brandt Luminizing Primer and just put this all over my face. And guys, I just woke up and I don't know what I was thinking getting in front of these bright lights. My eyes are like, they're struggling to stay open in front of these lights. I'm so tired, I don't know why. All right, so I just like to put that on like mostly the T-zone part of my face. And then I'm gonna go in with this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Mist. It's a primer mist, but I like to spray this on my face because it makes my face really hydrated. It kind of helps wake me up a little bit, so I spray that on my face and wait for it to fully dry before going in with foundation. All right, and so my products change daily. Whatever my mood is, I will change my foundation. I'll change my blush, bronzer, whatever, but it's basically the same routine. So I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. This is the hydrating foundation. Good I can say about this foundation is that it does last all day. It's not like the best looking foundation, but it lasts all day, which is really, really nice because a lot of times I find my foundation to kind of separate on my face, crease up, and this one, knock on wood, does not. So that's one good thing about it. And then I just like to go in with my favorite blending sponge. This is the Morphe one, and I'm just gonna be blending this out. You guys know the drill. I need to let go. I still wish you the best. And another good thing about this foundation is that it does stay on my nose very well. Um, right now it's not like too heavy on my nose, I'm going to put concealer on it. But like these two products help stay on my nose because if you guys watch my channel you guys know that I have problems getting foundation to stay on my nose for some reason. But this one actually stays on pretty decently, I don't know how. Alright so then I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the color Fair. It's their lightest color, and, and I'm just gonna go very heavy under the eyes. I like to put it down my nose, and then I like to put it on the sides of my nose right here, and then on my forehead. And this is just very a brightening concealer. So now I'm just blending it out. And then I like to drag it across my eyelid just so I don't have to go in separately with more concealer on the eyelid. And guys, like when I'm doing this look in the morning, I actually love how it looks. I love, like it looks a little bit more natural than I normally look like on the weekends and stuff. But I just recently started doing this like every single day just because it literally takes me 30 minutes or less to get ready doing all this. Besides like when I'm filming it obviously takes longer, but it's so quick. I'm out the door so fast. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this NYX HD finishing powder and I'm just taking this little brush and I'm just gonna be dabbing this under my eyes. And I go in with a different powder every day pretty much, just because I'm trying to find the best powder for me. But, so this one's a different one than I normally use. Um, and then I like to go on my eyelids. Oops, I completely forgot to add concealer on this eyelid. Now there's powder in my eyes. And then I just like to set them. It's very important to set your eyelids um, or they will crease. And then after I set my under eyes, I always go in with the sponge just to kind of blend any harsh lines out or anything because powder always looks really cakey under my eyes. So if you're someone who doesn't have that problem, you don't have to do that. And now I'm going to be going in with this Pure Cosmetics, if I can open it, Pure Cosmetics Bronze and Brighten Palette. It looks like this. I've actually just recently got this and I've been using it for like 
a week now, maybe a little bit longer. Um, but I love this. I changed the bronzer, blush, and highlighter that I use every day. But I've been using this one the most just because it's, for one, it's so simple. It's all in one. And it's just amazing, this palette. You guys need this palette in your life. So, of course, I'm going to go in with my favorite makeup brush. This is the Sigma Large Powder F20 brush. And I'm just going to dip lightly into that and tap it off. And then I'm going to start bronzing up my face. And then you're going to see me dip into it a couple more times. And I'm just going to go all over. The best for tomorrow Of what you feel What I feel Is totally different from each other This delusion Kept in our hearts And then I always like to go back into the sponge on the forehead area and kind of blend it together just because my forehead is very light, I have a very light face, so sometimes it looks a little too dark, so I just always go in and blend it out. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my favorite blush brush. This is the Lexi 514 blush brush, and I'm going to go into this blush color. I love this blush color. It is really pigmented, and I like to add a decent amount on my face just because I do have very light skin, so I like to, you know, make sure I look a little bit more alive than dead. So I'm adding a decent amount. And then I just like to go in with the sponge and just blend out that top part area so it doesn't look harsh around right here. All right, so now I'm gonna be taking my Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray and just spraying my entire face. And this setting spray is perfect. It keeps you hydrated, it keeps you looking good all day. I love this setting spray and it like, the mist on it, I know you guys can see that. It's so fine and so, so amazing. And I just went in a second time just because I really love putting that on my face. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my favorite highlighting brush. This is the Morphe M510 brush. I'm going to be dipping into that middle highlighter right there. And then I like to look like a disco ball. If you're trying to be a little bit more natural that day, you know, you might want to go in with a more natural highlight. But I'm not really a natural kind of gal, so I'm going to go in with a lot of highlight. It's written on the wall of what you did, what I did. And then of course, just to kind of sink everything into the face, I kind of like to go on like the edge parts of that. So I'm not taking away the glow of it, but I just kind of like to sink it into the skin with my sponge. All right, so now it's time for brows. I'm gonna kind of speed up this process just because I suck at doing brows, so I kind of have to not talk through it. But I'm gonna go in with the Brow Gal Convertible Brow, and I'm gonna be using this middle shade only right here. I just love this whole entire compact right here. It's, it's just amazing. I love every single color. I've used every single color in this palette. But I've been going in with a little bit more of a natural brow lately when I go to work, um, just so I don't look you know, too crazy sometimes because the people at my work don't wear makeup, so I'm the crazy girl with makeup on sometimes. So I like to go in with a little bit of a natural look. Alright, so after I fill in my brows, I like to go in with like a little angled brush and go in with my concealer. And I like to sharpen up the brows, and it's really hard to do your brows on camera, so there's a lot of mistakes that I gotta fix. But this concealer trick is just amazing. Even if there's like, you think your brows look perfect, add some concealer, and I promise it'll look like a hundred times better. I don't know why or how, but it just helps make it look so much better. And then I just like to go in with like a pointed brush and kind of blend that concealer down onto the lid so there's not a big crazy line right there. All right, so hopefully the eyebrows are a little even because they look like they're not. Um, it's always so hard for me to do my brows not in my bedroom like normally and it's always so hard for me to tell if they're even or not. So we're just gonna go in and on to the next step. Alright, so these are my new favorite items. I've had them for a couple months now. I think I've got them on like Black Friday kind of time. So these are the Pure Cosmetics Quick Pro Glitter 
gel things. I think that's the name of them. This is in the color Namaste. And so they're like these liquid glitters. So Pure Cosmetics also has eye polishes. They're called eye polishes, I believe. And they're kind of very similar to these, but they're like liquid eyeshadows. So when you open it up, it has like this little spatula thing on it with the glitters. These are so amazing. You can make these very natural looking. You can make these very strong and pigmented. They're so pigmented. I've done eyeshadow looks with them. I just, I love them so much. But this is my favorite color to use for this kind of look. So I like to just lay these glitters all over the eyelid. And I like to do a decent heavy amount just because when I blend it out, it does blend out. So I'm just going to go in with like a little fluffy flat brush. And I kind of like to pat over it and rub a little bit and just blend these out so that there's no harsh lines but I still like it to be glittery and pigmented on the lid and then that eye looks good so then I go in with the other eye I just love these so much for this every time I wear them I get compliments so I've been doing my makeup like this like every day when I go to work now because everyone seems to like it so and it's so easy it makes you look glam but still not over the board and it was very quick and easy so I love doing this alright so I don't know if you guys can see it on camera but it is very decently pigmented so beautiful so now I'm just gonna go in with mascara any mascara will work but I like to go in with the elf mascara I switch up my mascara every day but this is what I like to use and just put it on my top and bottom lashes Alright, so then I just like to take a pencil brush and take the highlighter we used on the face and just go in on the inner corner and on the brow bone area. Sometimes I skip this step and I wish I didn't because I feel like this is the key to making any look look way better. Just putting it on that inner corner just brightens everything up. Alright, so and for the last step, I just like to go in with a lighter color lipstick. Sometimes I will go in with a darker color but I feel like I like it better when it's light. So I'm gonna be going in with the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color Bear With Me. It's one of my favorites and I'm actually running out. It smells like cake, so it's definitely my favorite. Best formula, uh, Dose of Colors has like the best formula. So I'm just gonna be putting this on my lips. Alright, that is the completed look. I love doing this look. It's so easy and I hope you guys learn from it and like to do it as well. It's so easy. I love the little pop of glitter on the eyes. I love everything. I love how it looks glam but not too over the top. A little bit more on the more natural side if you want to say. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Very quick and easy. 30 minutes. I'm pretty sure yeah, I've been filming for 30 minutes now. It's now 8.30. I started at 8 o'clock and honestly, like, normally I think it will take me way less time just because I'm not sitting here talking in front of a camera. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give my video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video.